Good evening, everybody. How are you tonight? I am Gemma, your host, and I am glad to be back and talking with you all. Um, my goodness, I feel like I've been away again, and I've actually uh, would like to just share a little bit of my journey in the last probably fortnight. Um, the 13th of February, um, it had been 32 years since my uh, my car accident where I was um, well, that's basically where I had my accident in New South Wales. And so, yeah, it's 32 years without walking. And last week it was my birthday. And I decided to go back to the hometown of where I had my accident. Um, it's been 28 years since I've been back to my hometown in Lithgow, New South Wales, in the Blue Mountains. Um, so I decided to take a whole week off and to really go back and see more. Obviously, I was only six at the time when I had my accident, so it was really nice to go back with fresh eyes um, and to really live in the moment of driving around. I actually drove all the way down from the Gold Coast, so it was 11-hour drive. Did it on my own. Um, it was just, it was a calling that I've had at the beginning of the year um, to see my accident site, to see the corner that it happened on, um, and it was obviously, I think it was more emotional going back to my hometown, seeing family, um, seeing friends I haven't seen for a long time. But it was so, it was something that my soul needed and something that I've taken a while for me to accept, you know, having a permanent disability. And um, it was, but it felt good. It felt good. I had this freedom of travel. I had itchy feet to get back and it was actually, it was just, it just was, it was so, so, it was just amazing for my soul. And so that's where I've been for the last week, maybe two weeks, actually two weeks, but for the last week. And um, I ex definitely have accepted my accident, but it was just nice to revisit. And obviously, you know, we all have trauma and we have, it's, you know, the energy is in our body and we have layers and layers of that. And it's, I just really wanted to have that shift and the things that I don't realise I haven't, I guess if I haven't, there's something in there that I haven't accepted and I wanted to really appreciate, you know, I really appreciate where I and how far I have come. So, and, you know, my life wouldn't have been you know, the same if I hadn't had my accident. So, you know, that's been my whole week and it's been really nice to just connect and but really live in the moment and taking everything in and, Yes, it was emotional, but it was so gratifying that it was exhilarating and it brought up lots of emotions that I was able to express, release, um, and I guess move on into the future to see what else the future holds for me. So that's been my week. Um, I've actually got back into work this week as well. So I've actually, I'm really excited tonight. I'm actually hosting my first event at work, um, Delivering Spirits with a big group. Um, I have done like morning teas and, you know, had people, you know, groups in the morning, but it's really nice to, um, you know, do it at, at night time and um, be part of something that's, you know, going to take off. I can see it's going to open up new doors for myself. Um, and it's also about connecting loved ones to, you know, to people as well. So. I'm really looking forward to tonight. I'm actually really super hyped up and can't wait. So I know that um, I've had a big week with three loved ones around me. So, you know, they are more than ready to get into the action of it. So that's my big week of traveling, soul searching, and yes, we're ready to connect. So we're going to tune into um, Dave. Dave's up? Dave. Sorry, I'm really bad with names in. Florida, USA. The Vesta. The Vesta. Hello. The Vesta. Yes. Everyone Hi, calls me Gail, but my first name is the Vesta. Uh, lovely name. Lovely oh. name. I was a bit unsure, but it's, it has lots of strength about it. I, let, I reckon you're the kind of person that has a lots of strength and whether you realize you have a lot of strength about yourself. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. How can I help tonight? What areas would you like me to look into for really, you? Um, more relationship and uh, finances. Yeah. 
Yes, okay. So with relationships around you at the moment, um, I think what I'm seeing for you is that there seems to be, um, is there lots of discussions going on about um, in your relate, in your current relationship that, at the moment with your partner? Um, what I'm seeing is something going back and forth and I feel like there's lots of issues have been um, brought, um, have been, has been aired but also been, I mean, discussed, but also lots of things have come to a, the decision makings have been big lately. Does this resonate with you, with you and your current partner? Oh, you said what? That's what I'm trying to find out. If if it's if if it's even for me. Okay, so that might be someone else that's around you at the moment. Are you in? Because what I'm what I'm saying is, I have someone. The energy that I'm tuning into, it's I have this energy of two people, and I see that there's been big decisions in um, going forward in the relationship. I feel like there's been lots of ups and downs, but. I also see there's some kind of big commitment that's about to happen, but there's also been lots of disagreements and issues in regards to trust around commitment. Um, does this yes. resonate with somebody around you? Yes, okay. So that's what I keep seeing. Also, have you seen a, um, I'm going to say the third real meaning that you've actually helped out the other person, um, helped out the other person in supporting. I feel like you've supported both of them, though, in the way that you're there for both of them for this relationship. Yes. Yeah, and what I keep seeing, I see that children are involved. I, I keep seeing, not children, but I see, I see children, but I keep seeing there's one child involved. Is that correct as well? Yes. Yeah, okay, so I've got the children on the side there. I just see one little, I see a girl, but I'm not, Sometimes they get mixed up with the energies of different sexes. But what I'm seeing is that there's been that commitment of, and I feel like it's been more that the um, the male male energy, so the male partner, uh, hasn't been committed. It feels like there's been some trust issues around him, around sorry, the female. There's been some trust issues, but I see that things have been... Oh, lots of things have been ironed out, so there's lots of issues, lots of, lots of communication, but it still seems to be a sticky situation that still involves a lot of things. It seems the implications. Interesting with the, I know I'm talking a little bit too fast, but um, with the male um, in the relationship, has he been in any kind of trouble with the, with the law or anything with the law? Yes. He just got out of jail last Friday and I went and picked him up in another state from some old issues okay, so from a previous relationship. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what I keep seeing. I keep seeing the jail bar, so that's why my question was asked. Um, and it also feels like, um, yeah, a sense of freedom, but he's also still really trapped. And I think feel like he's still really trapped, and trapped, sorry, trapped in his mind in regards to a lot of things. Um, and I see that the young lady involved, um, it, she still hangs on. It's like she still hasn't given up on him, um, given how much he's actually gone through. Um, but I do uh -huh. see this child involved. Um, but I also keep seeing that, um, I also see there being a commitment issue as well. And I know that, what I keep seeing with the female is that she wants to, um, or would like things to move forward and I still feel like that he's still a bit stuck in his old ways or even stuck from his past that's holding him back. Does that resonate with you with what's going on in their relationship? Yes. yes. One day he seemed to want um, to go forward and the next I'm confused. Yes. And that's and it is very confusing and it's very draining for both sides because you see how much, um, you know, how much, what, you know, how much is involved and what, who's involved. It's really, it's emotional and it's also very, I feel like my heart strings um, are being pulled in all different directions, which makes, you know, the future um, really hard to see if there is a future. Um, what I do see is that the moment because of his, I feel like, not feel, but what I'm seeing for him is that his judgment of decision making seems to be a bit clouded to the fact that um, I think he's still, what I see that he's still adjusting to 
um, just being himself and where he is in his life at the moment. Um, and I feel also that he's this, uh, he doesn't answer a lot of questions and that's frustrating. Right. Yeah. Um, what I see that is that is your support and how much, how much you've been a big um, support. Is this just for your daughter? Is this for your, um, I'm sorry. Your daughter that's in the relationship. Is this is this your daughter that's in the relationship with him? No. Um, my daughter is here. She lives with me, but she recently got into a relationship with someone else. Okay. And she has some. Okay. Um, and she's really like a little child, but she's oh, an adult. Yeah, because I keep seeing this little child on next to you on the side. So that's probably what I'm seeing is her energy beside you. So the guy that's in jail is he's okay. He's, he's not in jail anymore. One. He's out. He's oh, the guy. My son yeah, is in yeah, jail. Yeah, Oh, so he is your son. It's your son. Okay, I just my son is in jail, but the guy that I've been seeing, out. he just got out of jail. Ah, okay, my son okay. is is in jail, um, but the guy that I'm seeing, he really just got out of jail. Okay, sorry about that. Just my connection seems to be um, a bit <laughs> jittery on my end. Um, I just see that. Um, yes, the son is in jail. Oh, gotcha. Um, what I keep seeing is that at the moment it just seems that. Oh, okay, got you. So the um, your daughter at the moment, um, I also feel like there seems to be fear around her, and I get that feeling because my anxiety seems to be. I just have anxiety around her, so there's some tough decisions to make at the same time because everything's so new and it there's just lots of decision making. And the message that I have that coming through for her is that um, not rush into things. Um, to really right. just see how things go, not to rush, not to rush is what I keep hearing for her. Okay. Um, I also see that um, I've got number 11 around her, so whether she can resonate with the number 11, but, you know, it, it's also, I know that um, she, it's like she, uh, she's, such, she's got such a big heart and she trusts too easily. So at the same time, just go with her intuition. Things don't feel right, oh. but not to rush either. It's what I've okay. got going on. That is true. Okay. Yeah. And as for the relationship um, with me, is it even worth continuing or? Um, no, oh, at the moment I just see that there's lots of questions, so it just seems a bit cloudy at the moment. So I just would, at the moment, what I'm seeing, um, not to misjudge, just um, give it a few weeks is what I'm hearing. And I also keep weeks. hearing not to repeat things, not to repeat things that's happened in the past. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, All right, lovely. I have to wrap things up because I have my next call of waiting, but it was lovely to connect with you tonight. Um, I wish you all the okay. best. Just trust, trust, trust. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, we have Jen from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, USA. Hello, Jen. How are you tonight? How are you? How are well, you? Thank you. I love your energy. You've got lots of lots of energy. How how can I help <laughs> you tonight? I don't know. I just I don't know what happened. I I had I had to call. I don't know. It's not me. I'm I'm just there's something wrong. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> um, it's oh, it's interesting because what I keep seeing around you at the moment. I know we haven't gone into detail yet. I keep seeing a big air balloon, but I feel like that's you. I feel like your feet are off the ground. There's not much stability. And then, like, I think underneath you, you feel a bit scattered at the same time. I think you're still finding the right direction in which way you're wanting to go. It's like things aren't, whether you haven't grounded yourself in a location yet or you're still in the process of 
wanting to move or feeling like whether you want to move? There's questions about moving. Does this resonate with you? Yes, yes, I want to move down south, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that, and I can see that it's going to happen soon for you, um, a lot sooner than you realize, because I keep seeing you being this hot air balloon, you're about to take off, and what I keep see, what I keep hearing for you is to, um, to to tie up the things that you need to tie up now. It makes that transitioning a lot smoother for you. Okay. Um, yeah. Also, what I've got around you, you're very creative. Do you do any kind of artwork or do anything creatively? It could also mean with your voice. Um, I've just got lots of art, lots of colour around you as well. Yes, yes, that's that's me. Yeah, yeah, I feel that. And with colour, it creates movement. So you're constantly moving, but I feel like when you move down south, this is going to be a permanent move for you where you're going to feel like oh, it just feels you've embraced everything, you've you've put everything out there and this is your big... Um, Oh, it feels it feels really good. Like this is this is you. This is you know. Finally, you've gotten to where you need to go. That's that's a great. Um. So yeah. So that's what I keep saying for you. I also got lots of flowers around you, which lets me know it's a celebrational time for you. But have you had a birthday or coming up to a birthday? Because I've got flowers right in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, if you're doing this year's all about you and celebrating you and what you want and because I see that you've put lots of other people first before yourself in the last few years, but you're finally listening to yourself and um, taking your dreams forward and it's with that creative flair that you have about yourself. You're always creating movement. You're always making new friends and you're the kind of person that I feel through your energy that you don't have trouble doing that. So any fear that you have, you... Don't let any obstacles in front of you stop you from achieving what you want to do. Oh, I have a stroke too. That's, you know. Are you having a what, sorry? I can't. I, I have a massive stroke and I, I can, I can um, talk like that, you know. And I'm excited or whatever. I can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it because... You've got this big ball of energy and it's about putting all that good energy you have to use and to being in service of others as well. And I see that you make a big difference in the world with what you do because of the kind of person that you are. You have this big heart. Okay. Um, I also see that um, with a transport or you've had any transport, any car problems, but I've seen that the transport, unless there's different transport by the time you move, whether there's um, issues around transport or how you're going to get from A to B, like I'm not saying you don't have a car, but it feels like where you need to get to live, whether it involves other transport in the location that you're going. Does this make sense? I'm not really, does this resonate with you about the transport in regards to the new location that you're going to? Okay. I want to go to ah. south. And, I want yeah. to go to the south and whenever um, find out uh, genealogy, and um, I just I want to meet new friends in my distance, and um, that's all. <laughs> We're definitely going, definitely going to be embracing it all. Um, I see really. That. Um, yes, definitely. It feels really good around you. It's got this energy and um, it's, you know, it's, I see also even with friendships, it feels like the last even two years I've been like, you know, whether you've had the, you've been the kind of person to attract the wrong energy in your life, the wrong kind of people, and it's more, you know, obviously you didn't realise at first, but I also see that this year it's a lot more, um, positive, you know, you've got a lot more uplifting, like-minded people that you're going to be connecting with. That's good. That's good. Yeah, and that's what I see, and I see that 
you know, it's also company, it's good company and it's something that, you know, I know that you crave as well because you love, you know, being around people but at the same time you do like your quiet time but, you know, you really, you know, people get to really see you for you um, and that's really good about the kind of things that you're going to be making is because they see you and you don't need to pretend to be anyone else but yourself. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, um, it sounds like... Um, do you see like um, yeah? Did you see um he he Sean himself is he around? Um, sorry, who was that? Sorry, a loved one. Did you say he shot himself? Is he around? Um, sorry, my connection seems to be bad. Wait well, one second. I didn't not hear the question. Um, okay. Um, just waiting for that question. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, just with that connect. Uh, okay. So with the person, can you repeat that question again for me, please? He he saw himself. Is he's around all the time? And my kids and oh, yeah, heaven. Definitely. Really? Um, oh my goodness. Um, uh, sorry, sorry. Is he around? Your children are with you. Oh. <gasps> right. Your children. Your children. Your children are 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 with you. Only your children. Okay. Okay. That's your good. children. You know what I think. Yeah, I keep seeing, I keep seeing um, lots of animals around your children. But it's interesting. Do you have three children that have three yeah, children? Yeah, I have three have, uh, children. Yes, and two in yeah. in yeah, heaven. Yeah. Okay. So okay, but I keep seeing three. Okay, got you. Um, what I'm seeing for you is that I see an older lady. I uh, no. <laughs> Okay, sorry, but I'm getting just confused. I've got children everywhere, and what I'm saying to you is that there's an older lady around, and when I see her, I keep seeing the colour red. So whether this older lady, um, and I see, I keep saying Nan, Nan, uh, Nan, and it's like Nan, um, whether it was your Nana, but I keep seeing um, the colour red around her, whether she liked the colour red or white red roses, because I'm really drawn to red. Yellow. Red, and I think of red roses when I just, Hello? Yes, I'm here. Yes. Yes. Yeah, can you recognize How is my grandmother? Your grandma with your... Yeah. Yeah. That's what I keep seeing. I keep that's what I keep seeing around your two children. Um and I keep seeing the colours red, so they're very they're very much looked after is what I keep seeing. That's I keep good. seeing little birds. So they're having having a lot of fun and they're around you a lot, so the energy is around you as well. They are around you is what I keep seeing. And what I keep seeing is that I keep seeing, I keep hearing the little birds, whether you hear lots of little birds around you. Honest to God. I have a cardinal. He, yeah, he stops birds. all the time. <laughs> yes, yeah. but I, I have uh, animals. It's, yes. Yeah, that's right. Definitely, and that's what I keep hearing is this bird, and it's very talkative. So I keep being, and this is your children around this bird, keeping it very chatty. Yeah, I, I just love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and the colour as well. So, yeah, that's, I just wanted to let you know that, you know, um, yeah, safe and sound and very chatty and um, always around you. So just keep listening out for that bird. Okay, all right. I'm just uh, so um, crazy. Yeah, I, I just, I mean, I'm stressed, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Um, definitely, and I, I see that um, everything's okay. And I keep seeing, I keep seeing a hug. I keep seeing your children giving you hugs from your chest onwards, not from behind, but in front of you. So crossing, giving you giving you hugs from your front, crossing over. Really? Yes, yeah, so the, the hugs, I feel them around you. 
in front of your chest more than hanging off you on your back. So I just want to let you know they're close to your heart. Um, well, I wish you all the best with your move. Sorry, just my connection is really bad for my end, and I'm sorry the connection is really bad, but I just want to wish you um, all the best with your new move and um, embrace everything that you see, feel, and hear because you have lots of you have beautiful energy around you. Um, but yes, I do need to end our call, Jen. But it was lovely to talk and connect with you tonight. Thank you. That's good. Thank I you. Was, uh, um, my bed and there's like a kiss, and I think that was Mark. Probably <laughs> he saw it himself. That's why yeah. I was uh, asking. Is that him? Yeah, it's um. I Where don't is it? Feel that. Yeah. Okay. So all, right. all is well. All is well your way. Just keep looking. Keep looking forward. Is what I'm feeling. Okay. Thank you. That's okay. Thank you for connecting. Thank you, anyone at Psychic Radio for connecting. I look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.